Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Gets Fat! My name is Insane Ian, and welcome to this international menu episode. Here's, here's a thing. McDonald's is doing a worldwide favorites menu at their locations, where they're offering four different menu items from various different McDonald's across the globe. So we have all of them here because I needed some place to go for lunch and I thought, why not get all of them and make a stupid video? Cause that's what I do. I present to you my table of regret. We have a couple different things here. Let's see if I get the names for all of them right. We have a couple different menu items from different McDonald's across the world. First, we have, from Canada, the Tomato Mozzarella Chicken Sandwich. You can get this either uh, grilled or crispy. I chose grilled because of my delicate palate. We also have, from Spain, the Grand McExtreme Bacon Burger. That's right, they call it McExtreme, which appears to have Swiss cheese on it, onions, bacon, and a burger. This is why I call this my table of regret, because lactose intolerant. From Australia, cheesy bacon fries. Look at that, Let's open that up right there. That is poorly made, but those are cheesy bacon fries. And lastly, for dessert, from the Netherlands, a Stroopwafel McFlurry. Holy crap. Yeah, this is where the whole lactose intolerant thing is really gonna be a problem. My table of regret. I'm not saying that I'm regretting it now. I'm just going to be regretting it later. That's the whole thing, you know. You put garbage in, garbage comes out. And unfortunately, since my gallbladder surgery, been a lot of garbage coming out. All of that aside, let us dig in to these treats. I'm going to try the uh, the chicken sandwich first, only because I introduced it first. Wow, that bun. That bun's bent back a little. That's a little weird. But this appears to have onions. Looks like Swiss cheese, I guess. Well, not really Swiss. I guess it's not really Swiss on the other burger either. Some sort of cheese. I, well, no, I guess it's mozzarella because it's in the name. Duh. Ian is a smart man. It's mozzarella cheese, so it's mozzarella on the other thing. Lettuce, tomato, onions, the chicken, and what looks to be Thousand Island dressing. No, it's not Thousand Island dressing. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Let me unfold this bun so that it actually covers the end of the sandwich. Here we go. Big bite of mozzarella. And here's the thing. With my lactose intolerance, mozzarella actually isn't that bad for me. It's one of the least lactose cheeses. So, mozzarella in moderation, I can I can do. So, here we go. Gonna make sure I get a bite of everything in this bite. That's pretty good. I like that. Chicken's good. I mean, for McDonald's. The ingredients mix well. The onions is a nice touch. They're bigger than your standard McDonald's onions. They're not like chopped up and diced like they are on a Big Mac. They're actually kind of, kind of big chunks of onion but the, the crispness of that is really nice in direct correlation with everything else that's in the, in the sandwich. It's pretty good, it's a pretty good sandwich. Not exactly sure what that sauce is, but I like it. Got a nice tang to it as I drop my napkin. That's pretty good, I enjoy that. Up next, we have the Mick Extreme Bacon Burger, which uh, from, from Spain, I believe, which is just, it's a McDonald's burger with mozzarella on it, bacon, and onions, and uh, another bit of that sauce. I'm not sure what that sauce is, but it appears to be the same sauce as on the previous sandwich. So we're gonna try that. That's really good too. The bacon is nice and crispy. The tag of that sauce, really, really nice. I really enjoy that. I didn't think I was gonna like the onions on either sandwich, because I'm not a very big onion fan, but I actually really enjoy them on here. Pretty tasty. The cheese is so mild. Like, it's a big hunk of cheese there, but I barely tasted it on either sandwich. It's kind of secondary to all the other ingredients in the sandwich, but it's really good. I mean, it's it's a McDonald's burger, so you know what you're getting with that. But uh, the other ingredients on top of that, it makes it it's pretty tasty. It's definitely not bad. Next, we're going to try the bacon fries, and luckily they gave me a fork to try that. Bacon and cheese fries. I've had that before. That's not an unusual thing. It's a little poutine-esque, but there's no cheese curds on it and it's not gravy. So I guess it's not poutine-esque at all. 
I'm smart. It's bacon and melted cheese on top of McDonald's french fries. Sure. That is dicey bacon. That doesn't look bad. Doesn't look great though. McDonald's fries are not quite the, the kind of fries for this kind of dish, but we're going in anyway. Oh, I got a lot of cheese on that. Whew. That is like they took a Kraft single and just melted it on top of that. That is not great. And I don't think that's real cheese. Ugh. It's very cheese forward, but it's, ugh, it's not a great flavor. <laughs> the bacon's not bad. The fries are McDonald's fries, although they're kind of soggy now because of the melted cheese on them, which soggy McDonald's fries, not great. Yeah, that's not my favorite thing. The McDonald's fries do not mingle well with stuff like that. And finally, we're going to dessert with the Stroop Waffle McFlurry from the Netherlands. I don't know if you can see it in there. Little bits of Stroop Waffle. People who don't know what a Stroop Waffle is, there's a thing called Google. Anyway, yeah, they use the spoon to stir it up in the machine. I'm so glad I went to a McDonald's where the ice cream machine wasn't broken. But yes, Stroop Waffle McFlurry. I haven't had a McFlurry in a very long time. Uh, I used to get them even though I'm lactose intolerant because I'm a glutton for punishment. But anyway, we're gonna try this now. I'm sure back of this boom. <laughs> wow. The Stroop Waffle is very crunchy. More crunchy than I expected it to be. Got a lot of ice cream in my mustache. So yeah, that's not bad either. A lot of caramel in there, vanilla ice cream, obviously, and the Stroop Waffle bits. Now the thing about a Stroop Waffle, or at least the Stroop Waffles that I've seen, usually Stroop Waffles are discs, and you put them over the top of a coffee cup, and you let the heat from the coffee heat up the disc, and then you, you know, break off pieces of it, or take the whole thing and eat it once it's been heated up, and that's got caramel in it. They're pretty good. You know, they're a little waffle-esque disc that sits on top of your coffee cup, and you enjoy it with your morning coffee. You can dip it in that and everything. And those are those are super tasty. Those are great. They're a little more waferly, though, wafer-like than the Stroop Waffle in this. The Stroop Waffle in this is a little harder. I don't know if it's because it's colder because of the ice cream, but it's definitely a different flavor profile for a Stroop Waffle than one I've had before in my life. There you go. That is all of the uh, worldwide favorites from McDonald's that are available now. You can go to your local McDonald's and pick these up. You know, I got just the sandwiches. I didn't get the meals on all of them because that would be really expensive. And, uh, you know, for four of them. And also, I'm one dude having four. Yeah, this is already enough. Two sandwiches. This is, I'm, that's why I'm fat. This show is living in Chicago and this show are why I am fat. This is the largest I've ever weighed in my entire life. But anyway, if you enjoyed this show, we could sure use a like and a comment down below. And if you really like the show, I could certainly encourage you to possibly subscribe to my channel. Got a lot of videos coming. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Now, which sandwich do I finish first? I'm probably gonna have to put that in the freezer. Do cats eat french fries? I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. What if you stick it in a cookie form?